Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you're unable to install the Outer Worlds 2 game from Xbox app or Microsoft Store on your Windows computer. Now the first step is to run Gaming Services Repair Tool. Now for this, you can go to your profile icon on Xbox app, click on Support, and then click on Gaming Services Repair Tool, click on Start Repairing, click on Yes to Allow, and let the repair complete. This process will take some time. Now once the repair is complete, you can close this, and then you can check. Now the next step is to log out and log in with same account on store and Xbox app so you can open Microsoft store. Top right you will see your profile icon, click on it, click on sign out and then sign in. Select the account which has the game or which has the game pass. So you have to select the right account which has the game or game pass and enter your pin or password over here. Now once you're logged in, now you can go to Xbox app, click on your profile icon, click on sign out and then sign in again select the right you have to select the same account which you have selected in Microsoft Store which has the game or which has the game pass and once you are logged in now you can install the game again and then check still not working make sure date time time zone and reason is correct at the bottom right here you can see the date and time make a right click on date and time click on adjust date and time and make sure set time zone automatically if this is off turn it on also set time automatically if this is off turn it on and then click on sync now sync now is important so click on sync now if you receive any error in red color click on sync now once again once you see the tick over here then you can go to time and language language and region and make sure your country is selected over here and then you can check try to install the game and then check now still not working the next step is to go to microsoft store library or downloads and then try to install it from there so you can go to store go to downloads option if you see the game over here you will see play but uh, if it is not working you can retry over here you can try to install the game from here and then check you can even go to library if you find the game in the library try to install the game from library i have it in the downloads now the next step is to run this power cell command this command is provided in the video description so copy this command Type in PowerShell in Windows search box and then make a right click on Windows PowerShell. Make sure that you run PowerShell as an administrator only and then click on yes to allow. Paste the command over here, hit the enter key. Now this process will take some time. Uh, this will install Windows default apps and during this process, if you see errors like this in red colors, just ignore it, let the process complete. And once this is complete, you will see everything red and then you have to restart Xbox app or store and then read on reinstall the game. Next step is to delete Microsoft Store local cache folder. Now for this open file explorer, go to this PC, open C drive, open users folder. Now open your username folder. Now open app data. If you don't see app data at the top, click on view, select show, put a check on hidden items, then open app data folder, local folder, and then open the packages folder, scroll down and then find Microsoft Windows Store. So over here you can see Microsoft Windows Store underscore some alphanumeric character open this folder. Here you can see local cache folder make a right click delete it and then try to install the game again. Still not working the next step is to run WS reset command so type in WS reset in Windows search box click on WS reset this will reopen Microsoft Store and then check. Still not working repair or reset Xbox app in store so type in Xbox app in Windows search box make a right click on Xbox app and then go to app settings. Scroll down, first of all, click on terminate over here and then click on repair. And once the repair is done, now you can check. Still not working, you can click on reset, reset, and after the reset, restart Xbox app and then install the game. Do the same thing with Microsoft Store. So type in store, make a right click on Microsoft Store, app settings, and then scroll down. First of all, click on terminate and then click on repair. And once the repair is done, now you can check if that does not work, then you can perform reset. So click on reset, reset, and after the reset, open store and then check. Still not working, update store. Now for this, you can type in Microsoft Store in Windows search box, open Microsoft Store on your computer. And then at the bottom left, click on download option, and then you will see check for update option. Click on check for update, and you will see update all so click on update all update everything and then check 
next step is to install xbox identity provider now for this you can open this link in the browser it will take you to microsoft website now click on view in store open microsoft store if not installed you will see install button over here or you will see get option or maybe update option so in my case it is already installed so install it and then check also uninstall and reinstall gaming services now for this you can copy this command this command is provided in the video description but type in powershell in windows search box make a right click on windows powershell and then run as administrator only click on yes to allow paste the command over here hit the enter key this will uninstall gaming services from your computer once done copy the second command paste it on the same window hit the enter key this will open store and then click on get option or you will see install option hit install click on yes to allow and let the download complete this process will take some time so let it complete once this is done now you have to relaunch xbox app and store still not working start these services now for this type in services in windows search box click on services find ip helper in the list ip helper and then make a double click on ip helper set this to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted then click on ok find xbox services at the bottom here you can see four xbox services make a double click on each one one by one and then set it to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted then click on ok again automatic apply click on start if highlighted then click on ok again set this to automatic apply start okay again automatic apply start if highlighted then click on okay find windows update make a double click set this to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted then click on okay now find microsoft store install service make a double click set this to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted then click on okay now find gaming services in my case the gaming services is still installing so let it complete so over here you can see gaming services uh, make a right click on gaming services and then click on restart if not like if not running if start is highlighted click on start or restart again make a right click on the second gaming services click on start if highlighted or click on restart now you can check still not working the next step is to update windows to the latest version now for this open windows settings go to windows update or update and security and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here then restart your computer and after the system restart you can check still not working the next step is to run inet cpl.cpl command so type in inet cpl.cpl and then click on it go to advanced tab scroll down here you can see use tls 1.0 use tls 1.2 1. 1. 1.1 1.2 1.3 make sure all four are checked over here and then hit apply apply is important and then click on ok and then you have to relaunch xbox app and store next step is to try installing the game to c drive or different drive and then go go to settings over here go to install option now if you are trying to install the game to c drive from the drop down option if you have any other drive you can try to install the game to other drive and then check if you are already trying to install the game to other drive then you can select c drive over here and then try to install the game and then check still not working uh, the next step is to uninstall and reinstall xbox app and store so type in xbox app in windows search box make a right click on xbox app and then click on uninstall uninstall and once the uninstall is done uh, you can go to microsoft store and then in the search box you can type in xbox app and then you can install xbox app from here now if you face any trouble installing xbox app from microsoft store in that case you can go to xbox website and go to the official xbox website and on this page you will see download the app option So click on download the app and then run the exe file. And you will see install button, install it from here and then check. Still not working. The next step is to uninstall and reinstall Microsoft Store. So copy the first command. 
type in powershell in windows search box make a right click on windows powershell and then make sure that you run powershell as an administrator click on yes to allow now paste the command over here and then hit the enter key this will uninstall microsoft store it will be gone from here and once gone now copy the second command and then paste it on the same window and then hit the enter key this will reinstall microsoft store on your bureau and then you can check still not working the next step is to update the last step is to use media creation tool now for this you can open this link in a browser the link is provided in the video description scroll down here you can see media creation tool click on download now and then run this exe file and then click on accept by default windows 11 will be selected click on next select iso file over here and then click on next you can save it to desktop let the download complete this process will take some time and once this is done click on finish option and let this close automatically it will take few seconds or maybe a minute to close then go to desktop make a double click on windows iso file make a double click on setup file click on yes to allow click on next click on accept and here you can see ready to install by default the option to keep personal files and app would be checked when this is checked you will not lose any data on the computer so make sure this is checked and then hit install after the installation log into the computer and then try to install the game and if you face any problem you can uninstall xbox app and then reinstall xbox app from the xbox website and then try to install the game make sure that you logged in with same account on xbox app and store so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel